Well, hello everybody, I'm Kerry from the Talk and Play team and today I'm going to read you a lovely story called If Only. One afternoon in early summer, a tiny green caterpillar crept from beneath a leaf and felt the warmth of the sun brush against its back. It crawled towards a flower bed bursting with early summer flowers and a tall red poppy had caught its eye. Can you see we've got a tall red poppy on here? There, dozing in the middle, lay a plump, white-tailed bumblebee. The caterpillar looked at its velvety coat of black and yellow and sighed. <sighs> if only I had such a lovely stripy coat. Can you see the yellow and black stripes on the bee? The bumblebee heard and grinned. The caterpillar was then dazzled by sunlight that had caught the wings of a dragonfly hovering above the purple water iris. If only I had such lovely shiny wings, it sighed. Can you see the dragonfly with beautiful wings? The dragonfly peered below and chuckled. Suddenly, a meadow grasshopper leapt from behind a looping flower and burst into song. The caterpillar listened to the grasshopper's music making. <sighs> if only I could sing such a beautiful song, it sighed. Can you see the grasshopper? The grasshopper stopped singing and laughed. Thinking that the grasshopper was making fun of it, the caterpillar climbed to the top of a very tall sunflower to hide. Higher and higher it climbed until it reached the large flower head. Can you see we've got a big yellow sunflower with a huge, huge head? But it wasn't alone. A two-spot ladybird had flown in in search of juicy green aphids. Can you see we've got one? Two spots on our ladybird. <sighs> if only I had such a polished red and black wing case, it whispered. The ladybird sighed, stared at the caterpillar and giggled. The caterpillar began to feel a little dizzy, and so he took a short cut to the garden below along a thin thread attached to a flower pot. Can you see? He made his way down, down, down to the flower pot. The caterpillar suddenly froze at the sight of a garden spider busily finishing a new web. Oh, if only I could weave such a fine web, it sighed. Can you see our spider making its web? The spider paused in its work and smiled. In need of a rest, the caterpillar decided to sleep inside the flower pot. Feeling a little cold, it grew a new, tougher outer skin to keep it warm. And there it slept for 16 days. There's our little caterpillar going into the plant pot. The caterpillar woke from its sleep feeling very squashed in its new skin. It began to stretch and push and after several hours fell to the ground with a bump. It crawled from the flower pot and let the sun warm its crumpled body. In the flower bed beyond, tiny pairs of eyes watching and waiting. One by one, each of the mini beasts came out of hiding. The bee buzzed, bzz, 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 bzz. the dragonfly danced, the grasshopper hopped, the ladybird fluttered, and the spider spun the web as they looked on in admiration. What are you looking at? asked the butterfly. You, they replied together. Me, asked the butterfly. Yes, you, they replied. But why would anybody want to look at me, sighed the butterfly sadly. Because you are a beautiful butterfly, they all cried. A butterfly? But the butterfly took a closer look at itself and could hardly believe its eyes. It had turned into the most beautiful peacock butterfly. You knew, didn't you, said the butterfly excitedly. Yes, we knew, replied the garden creatures. Oh, if only I had known to, sighed the butterfly. Can you see our beautiful butterfly? That was a lovely story, wasn't it? Hope you enjoyed. See you soon. Hello, bye.